So a third a final tomorrow for Chen Long, two years after the last time he was in the final of the Super Series finals, and on that occasion he won. He knows he'll have Danish opposition, but will it be Hans Christian Wittinghus or Jan Jorgensen? So our next and last semi-final is men's doubles, and there, Matthias Bo and Karsten Mogensen, the three-time former champions, and they're up against the world number ones. There they are, Lee Yong Day and Yu Young Sun. Well, this from the bottom half of the draw. Top half, Chai Biao and Hong Wei will take on Endo and Hawakawa. So the world number ones, Lee Yong Day and Yu Young Sung. Eight Super Series tournaments, five finals in five consecutive Super Series played. Their opponents, Matthias Bo and Karsten Mogensen, looking for a fifth final at the Super Series finals. Became world number ones, Lee Yong Day and Yu Young Sung on the 14th of August earlier this year. Lee Yong Day, there he is, was in three consecutive finals with former partner Jung Jae Sung, winner of the Super Series finals in 2009 and twice a runners up the year before that and the year after his victory with former partner. The three-time former champions, Matthias Bowe and Karsten Morgensen, the Danes appearing in their seventh consecutive Super Series finals. And this is only the seventh edition of this prestigious event. This, their seventh consecutive semi-final as well. That is a remarkable record. Duty completed, the toss of the coin. So Lee Yong Day and Yu Young Sung, the world number ones. Number one on the Super Series ranking as well. Finished second of uh, Group A. Their win-loss record for the year, that's phenomenal, isn't it? Because 11 tournaments played eight finals, winning five of them. And four of them were Super Series events. Japan, Indonesia, Australia and China. Well, on Wednesday they beat uh, the world champions, the pair that had uh, beaten them for the uh, gold medal at the World Championships in Copenhagen and reversed the result, beating them in two straight games. And then on Thursday they lost to uh, Chai Biao and Hong Wei, also in two straight games. And of course, yesterday they weren't required to play because they were given a walkover by former world champions Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan. But this is the most phenomenal record. Only two other players, a mixed doubles pair from Thailand, have competed in all seven Super Series finals. Uh, but for the world number twos, they've gone up one place uh, this week. Uh, to be in seven consecutive semi-finals and looking for your fifth final in total, having won this title three times, is just astonishing. So they topped Group B, 
they beat the number two seeds Li Sheng Mu and Sai Chia Sin of Taipei on Wednesday. And then the number three seeds Hiroyuki Endo and Kenichi Hawakawa of Japan. They needed three games for that, though. And then yesterday they lost to Liu Xiaolong and Chu Sihan of China. But they knew that whether they lost in two straight games or in three games, they were going to end top of their group. So the umpire, as I say, from China, Xiao Chiamao, Rohana da Silva of Sri Lanka, our service judge. Well, this will be the fourth meeting between these two pairs. And if you're a Danish fan, you'll be a, a little bit concerned because the previous three is 3 and 0 in favour of the Koreans. I totally agree with you, Jill. Uh, it seems like the style of the Koreans is not really suiting the two Danish players. But let's see how it goes today. Yeah. Love play. Well, it may be from the previous encounters that the Korean style is suited to playing against the Danes, but can't help but think about the Danes' record in this tournament, Morton. I was saying that seventh consecutive Super Series finals, that's seventh of seven. Yes. And okay. seventh consecutive semi final. Mm. No. Umpire very sharp to say. Can't Get, take, on. Get yeah, on with it. Can't take too long. Looking for a fifth final, the Danes. I mean, this is obviously a favourite event for them. It is, no, no doubt about it. But somehow, I think. You can have a favourite event, you can have all that in, in your favour, but I think style-wise, these two Koreans really do not suit the Danes. Because of their solid defence? Exactly, yeah. for the reason of that. Yeah. The Danes love to play attacking badminton, and, uh, and the defence of the Koreans is just so good, and then eventually they turn it around, and get on the attack, and then their attack is just as good as Danes, oh. and, and that means trouble. Three. Yeah, big trouble. One. So, so well. yeah, uh, the problem is that Carsten Morgensen has got a, a very, very good defence, but Matthias is, is mm. uh, slight, uh, not not as good. But Matthias Bo is is very, very good at the front of the court. this defense there we go yeah. I told you it's good they don't get it down and that's the problem I see then they turn it around like this and let's see what happens now yep two attacking shots yeah. first one at Matthias Bow. Yeah. and see, see this, this simplifies everything I want to say about this match that that exact rally oh. is the problem for the Danes wow. and what is so good for the Koreans yeah what he's got to do as much as possible get himself to the front of the court yeah the shot played by Lee Young-Day was not the best of shots but uh, the principle of Matthias Bow following up was absolutely the right thing to do yeah it's a good serve Going wide. 
service over. Five, two. Well, I've talked about Matthias Bo's qualities at the front of the court. We really need to even it out by talking about <laughs> Lee Yong Day's undoubted qualities at the front of the court, the way he reads the game. Fault. Oh, fault called. Six. Two. Took the shuttle before it had crossed over the nets. And the Danes looking towards the giant screen to have a little look at that again. Yeah, uh, quite right too. Yes. Yep. It wasn't coming over. No. That shot wasn't coming over. Yep. Good umpiring. Well done. Service <laughs> over. Three. Six. Uh, good finish here by Carsten Morgensen. He saw that Lee Young Day was trying to turn the events and he very quickly closed it down. That was really well covered. And a good smash from Carsten Moldenson to end the rally. Look at the shuttle, it's absolutely disintegrated. Four, six. Frustration. He read it. Seven. Four. Serve return and third shot. We always talk about it, don't we, Morton? Yes, we do. And this is where the Danes are so good. And that's why Matthias was really not happy with the, the execution here. But that, that's the chance they have. This is the chance they have to play. That's the three shots. If they can keep on settling the Korean pair, that's, that's where they, they must do it. Service over. Five. Seven. Yeah, good judgment. Taking the chance to put yes. the pressure on? Yes, yeah. definitely. But whether it will pass Lee Young Day, I'm not sure. As you pointed out just before, he is so very good at the net. Oh. Pushed it long. Now he's Matthias oh. talking oh. to the service judge. I think Matthias is showing signs of frustration already, and that's the least they need. Yeah, and that's worrying. Aye, aye. Okay. Yep, low serve is short over. of the mark. Six, nine. Oh, it is Seven. best. 
Nine. Yeah, he read that one well. This is where the Danes, as I said earlier, this is where they they really have to, to win the most in order to stay in the match. And I think they won three now. Just lately, from five to eight or six to eight at least on that situation. And that's that's exactly what they have to do. process there yeah, that he was he really going for the acute yeah. angle he did he did and you can see the two Koreans they're throwing themselves forward to get it look at that both of them mm. going forward they can see it's coming but whether they can get it or not we will yeah. never know yeah they do have very very deep defenses they have stances don't they they have and and the Danes they know it so they're trying to exploit it as well Over. Nine, ten. But it will be interesting to see if the Danes can keep up this uh, this pace and this pressure and keep staying with their opponents or whether they will drop slightly in pace and then Koreans will run away with it. are so deep in their defense yes very clever play oh. yeah i think matthias has really played well 10 all i i think he mm. has done really really well yeah The Danes will go to the mid-game interval with the advantage. Six of the last seven points. Og så er det rigtig godt nu, at vi er virkelig opmærksomme efter de korte saver på at komme ind i spillet, ikke også? Og vores bagmand, han skal helt op, for de trykker ikke. De prøver at fætte den næste også. Godt, det kan godt være, at den kommer flat, men den kommer ikke hårdt flat. Fordi, når vi har angreb og angreb og angreb, og så, så køber vi, og så giver vi dem tid, så kommer de bare tilbage, så løber de at spille. Ja. Six of the last seven points for the Danes. I, I guess, yes, for Larsen, the coach is pretty happy with them right now. But he was saying something about the flat play. What was that? Yes, he's saying that um, it's, it's correct that the, the Koreans, they play, play flat, but they play soft shots flat, like this. They don't really blast the flat ones, and therefore they have to make sure that over. the front player is really ready oh. to intercept and, and block it and get into it and and be ready at all costs because it's not like okay it's coming too fast i can't touch it it's, it's even though it's flat it's still softer flat once. yes so there's still the opportunity yes to intercept yeah because they don't want to lift but they're not really driving them very hard
Lunchet. 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 Thank you. Lee Day over his Twelve. career has amassed 34 11. Super Series titles over the two disciplines, men's doubles and mixed doubles as well. And he's just concentrating on his mix now. Oh, that might be worth a challenge. No, it's, it's out. No, it's out. It's out. 11. Well, three points since the mid-game interval and all three points to the Koreans. I, I think the big question mark, as I said earlier, can the Danes sustain at this level. Oh, that was a shocking save. Yeah. That wasn't the best in past either. Why do you say that? Because of the age of Matthias Bo, 34, Carsten Mogensen, 31? No, not really. If you need something, ask me, okay. Mm. Good umpiring again, because Matthias Bo, he was 14. talking to the service judge, and 14. that could be perceived 11. as intimidation. I don't think it's got anything to do with age. It's, it's simply just uh, the physicality of the um, of the play. Yeah. Rally from the Danes. Yes, very, very good. Well played. So this over 12, 14. play for a new young son. That's yeah. clever. That Isn't is it? really brings a smile to my face. That's a clever shot. This one here, that one there. It looks like nothing. Mm. But Matthias Bow just can't get out of the way. Yeah. well isn't he both he is uh, it's very impressive he gets that one down and the third one very impressive He was trying to get get away from it, but somehow he, he played it. <laughs> oh, such a good serve from Lee Yong Day. Yeah, but, but I think it was short. Yeah, and so does Matthias Bo. He yeah. turned to his partner as if to say, should I have played that? Yeah, yeah, he looks down towards the line. But it is a good serve if you make your opponent play it. <laughs> I couldn't agree with you more. We will never know if it was short or not. Oh. Now, Matthias Bo oh. is once again having a word with the service judge. No, 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 no. no. No? I control, yes. Yeah, but how can he get and then yes. make it spin that way? No, 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 no. Okay. Morgensen. Well, they're saying it must be a double hit. How can you make the shuttle spin that way? Please, just there. Please, please play. But, but it's not allowed? Mm -hmm. Is it theater? Yes. 
18. 18. 13. Now, let's just backtrack on that, Morton. The Danes were saying that he must be striking a serve or the shuffle twice. I don't see how he was doing that. No. We, we have to get a lot closer to that service situation if we, we can comment on it. But uh, they're claiming that he's kind of making a double hit and that makes the shuttle spin. So it's impossible to, to retrieve or play a, a, a good return on a start. Service over 19, 14. A super serve. Game points have arrived. Yeah. I think it's a shame because I, I think the Danes are spending too much mental energy on, on that, and I think they're losing focus of what actually is, is the most important trying yeah. to win the match. Yeah, I agree. And, and I think they have really played a good game. They have played a very, very good game. So they have soaked off a lot of pressure. They have played well. They've been good around the service situation. And still, they're 20, 14 down, 15 now. Mm. But I think it's got a lot to do with the fact that they, they get frustrated, irritated about that serve. Okay. Uh, opening game. To the world number ones, Lee Yong Day and Yu Young Sun. 21-15. Just 20 minutes of play. And out of the picture, we saw the coach Jesper Larsen approaching the umpire, complaining as well, and that's obviously not according to the book. No, he shouldn't be trying to intimidate or influence either. I didn't get anything, but what I heard was basically a lot the same on these sort of softer flat ones mm. and how important it is for the player from the back to step up and get into it. Yeah. Close Second down game. the mid-court area. Yes. Level play. That's clever. Oh my goodness, he's got it back! What a, a dive from you, young son. But not only that, how accurate it was. Yeah. Look at this. Forced Matthias to play the best shots he could. And uh, what a reply.
string gone from Matthias? No? Perhaps, perhaps. But I don't think so. I think he would have been running then. Yeah. No. Nope. Yeah. It's gone. I thought he would have been trying to change it. Over sort of midway. One. Oh. One own play. Push it long. And that's another racket gone. Yeah, we were talking about this the other day, weren't we? We, we were talking about how many points they're losing on it. Yeah. The we tension broke. in the strings. Yeah. Yeah, just releasing all the tension there so that it doesn't distort the racket head. I was talking to one of the stringers earlier. He's he's on his way home tomorrow. He's, he needs to stay. There's, if, if the Danes win, he'll, he'll, be, he'll, be, he'll be really busy. All the work. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he is not the only one, I'm sure. So there will yeah. still be plenty yeah. left. Yeah, there's an army of stringers here. They do a wonderful job. My goodness, they work hard, don't they? it that the Koreans can you know when they do get the attack in the rally the number of times uh, two downward shots end a rally is it the placement of the shot or the power of the shot what why is it so devastating when they're on the attack placement placement obviously they have good pay, uh, good power but placement is really good they they very often get the opponent on the right side which is the wrong side of the opponent yeah Service over, two, three. Stadigvæk på dem, hvor I slår lidt blødere. Når I slår hårdt, så river han som regel til dem. Man kan godt råbe til makkeren, hvis man cutter, så kan makkeren gå fremad. Han er blokker og følger op, og han er altid blokker cross. På de softe ting. Ikke på de harde ting, men på de softe smashes. De halve smashes og så videre, Lee Young Day vil blokke cross. Det er korrekt. Over, four, two. You can almost see the frustration or irritation in the face of Matthias Bow, can't you? You know, thinks that the service judge isn't calling faults when they should be called, and then opponents hit net cord re returns of serve, and he's getting look at him. He's he's getting more and more Five, frustrated. Two. Yeah. He, he's got to lower lower the level of frustration and, and focus on on trying to to win the match. Yeah. Mm.
And I think in the in the first game he did really well. Yeah. Up till 13, 14, when they started having that big discussion on the surf, and then that was it. Yeah. So it's all but, you know, it, it amazes me, Morton. Not only are they the Danes in their 30s, five. they've been Olympic silver medalists in London 2012. They've been World Championship silver medalists last year, bronze medalists this year. They've been European champions. They've uh, won a total of 20 titles throughout their career. Mm. They should have enough experience not to allow this to get to them. It's, 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 a, it's a matter of temperament, I think. And, okay. But I also think, whatever way we look at it, they don't have so many chances left, do they? Another rapid one. one. No, I, I agree. The, the Koreans are, are, are playing well, and yeah. And you know, Matthias is how old was it? 34? 34. Carsten, 31, 32? 31. Yeah. You know, they, they don't have, like, the, in terms of Babbins and the future in front of them. So no. they, they've got to make a count. And I think sometimes the frustration can come from the fact that. I don't get that many more chances, yeah, so I, I have to make this one count. Yeah. I don't know if you can follow me on that I one. I follow you completely because, you know, it, there's... Um, I've seen it in tennis with Roger Federer, you know, the number of chances and, and the Wimbledon final this mm. year. Did he get the, the jitters, maybe, in, in the final set against mm. Rafa Nadal? Because how many chances does he have? You see it with golfers the whole time. It's the older golfers that get the yips on the putts mm. because they know the number of chances to win the major yes. are going to be few and far between. Yes. Oh. Yeah. I'm not saying they're all going to be... That's not what I'm saying. No. I'm just saying that statistically, no matter how you look at it, yeah. it is like that. Yeah. Yeah. Both you and I have been through that. We've, We've experienced all been that. There. We've yeah. all been there. Good play there. Very good defence by Bo. Another one. Good block. Seven. Four. Five, seven. He's placing his smashes very, very well today, Matthias Bo. He is, and he has made fantastic improvements on his attack. I, I remember early days when I, I was part of this as well and, and, and coaching them on occasions, and, and so very often I, I had to say to Matthias, you know, it's not enough just to hit once and then play a drop shot and run forwards. You have to make it count and you have to follow through. If you have to hit five times, six times in a row, this is what you have to do. And, and I think he has realized and learned over the years that when you've got this attacking opportunity, yes, you have to make it count. Yeah. Because before he just hit one smash and then a drop shot and running forwards. That's 
nice defense. Excellent play, really, really good play here Six. by the Danes. Eight. And for once, Lee Young Day was really caught. So you don't see that very often. No. But I love to see the Koreans play. How they they have this kind of 100% pace and attack and you know it's just so fast and smooth and they're moving so well for one another Seven, eight. Ah, some Danish fans in The shuffle change. Matthias Bo says no. And the young passes just play on. And the young lady is just having a laugh. <laughs> mm. Okay, never mind. Goodness, he held that for a long time. He didn't did. Work. He really did. of the frustration from Matthias Bo. Sound right, did it? No. Ten, eight. It's another racket gone, Matthias Bo. That's four this game. Yes. And we're not even at the mid-game interval. And he's going to snip out the strings again. Forty percent of the Koreans' points in this game have come from broken strings from Matthias Bo. Every time he's broken a string, they've lost the point, haven't they? Um, under normal circumstances, I agree with you, yes. But he actually won the last one. Nine, here. ten. Oh, yes, I do beg your pardon.
Oh, flick serve is perfect. Ten. Oh. Well, as with the opening game, it's going to be just one point in it in the game interval. with the opening game, the advantage advantages with the Danes. Just under 40 minutes of play. Og vi har modtaget ned under netholderen, ned på bagmanden, så skal, så, så, så skal vi begge to op med hovedet, sådan, så vi kan bryde den næste til os. Og når vi er i syv, så læser vi den ned i det forhåndshjørn, og så går vi fremad. Ja, med højde på. Så kan jeg tage nogen med ud på? There we are. Coach. We take the rackets off to the stringers. 11-10. So what was the advice there then, Morton? When Lee Young Day is at the front of the court, try not to challenge him uh, with the softer shots. Push it further down to Yu Young Sung and uh, then take it from there. Because that's where the Koreans are best, is when uh, Lee Young Day is intercepting at the front of the net. Forty-three, I think. Yeah, in the forties. Well, he's not happy with himself, oh. Leon Day got back oh. an incredible net shot, didn't he? Lifting it pretty deep in court, and then the relatively easy one he misses. Yeah, you can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> his expression in any way he's not you know super super frustrated he's just mm. like oh, oh. Spot, oh. it's always kind of a smile to his face no the fault is oh, called on the Danes oh. and Carsten Morgensen he can't believe it struck above the waist as the service judge yeah I agree Raises. Oh gosh, yes, that's well above the waist. Oh, some spot hot. Some yeah. over. Well, nothing happens on the oh. quick serve. And if we see this one as well, I think it's very high as well. Look at that. Look, 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 look. look yeah, look, look. yeah. That's never below the waist. No. That's chest high. It is. 
and he's been serving like that for a long time. When Lee Yong Day went down, his partner came forward, and then when Lee uh, Yu Yong Sung went down, then Lee Yong Day is covered. Yeah. You're absolutely you. right. You so often see in, in partnerships that, you know, if, if one is down, the other one is just standing and waiting for him to yeah. get up again. But, you know, not say, OK, what can I do to cover? What can I do to help? Yeah. Oh, that was going out, wasn't it? Cross, oh, cross, oh, he's done that so often, I thought he was going cross on both occasions, but he did not. What a good rally. It's gone long. I suspect that may be the longest rally of this second game. 15. Maybe 15. of the match so far. Yeah, well long. Yeah, there you go. I thought it was the longest rally of the match so far. Again. Sixteen, thirteen. I think he was sixteen, thirteen to the Koreans in the first game as well. Morganson is being called. No, what did he tell him off about? He was sitting on the shuttle on the base when he was uh, on the floor. Mm. And he wants to deliver the shuttle for, for his opponents for the serve. Yeah, 
indecision from Yu Young Sung costing him dear. He couldn't get it 14, far enough away. 17. And clever shot by Carsten Morgensen. The steep smash. One of the trademarks of his game. No change. Play. Play. No. trickery there, Matthias Bo around the back. Yeah, he had 14. no choice, he, yeah. he was caught. Look, he's waiting for the forehand defence, goes down his backhand side, you're right, he had no choice, he had to attempt that. But it's been a hectic match, hasn't it? Yeah. The uh, officials really had to work hard here, the umpire, the service judge, to keep everything in place. It's been a very, very hectic game. Oh, that's magnificent. What a shot. Service over 15, 18. Well, I'm thinking back to Thursday, Morton, when the Danes were playing against Endo and Hawakawa. They were a game and 16, 19 down. So same points difference. Mm. They came back to win that. They They've got to believe to on yes. that this can be done. But I, I think they do. Yeah. I, I really think they do. Oh. There's the interception we've been talking about. Yeah, Matthias is getting a little bit late on this, and that's enough. No serve is short. So here we are, 16-19. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Wouldn't it be great if we have another another game here? I think it's a yeah. very good match. Great yeah. for the sport to watch. Larson warned them about with Lee on day and the block defence across court and he follows forward to the net and that was 16. exactly what he did yeah you have to be careful he's so good at it yeah match point opportunities for the world number ones Lee Young day and Yu Young Sung in just under 54 minutes and Carsten Morgensen is still muttering away about the serve and having a word with the service judge so it's not to be a fifth Super Series finals final for the three-time former champions 
but for this new Korean pair in their first appearance at the Super Series Finals. And they will contest for the title tomorrow. 21-15, 21-16 in 54 minutes. And that really was a tremendous performance by the Koreans. I know it's not on purpose to do it, but it's unbelievable. And you can't see it. Seriously, you can't see it. You can't see it. Well, he's still talking to the service judge, and I'm not sure this should be allowed, Morgan. Seriously. I can't see it. Seriously. No, you can't see it. I think you need to, so when you come back to... To India, I think you need to change your glasses. Mm. Well, we can't have players intimidating our court officials. I think the court officials have done a wonderful job all week. Well, Koreans into the final. So we know one pair in the men's doubles who will be in the final tomorrow, and it's the world number ones, Lee Yong Day and Yu Young Sun. But will they have Chinese opposition in Chai Biao and Hong Wei, or will it be Japanese Endo and Hawakawa? That is yet to be decided. Well, what a great performance by Lee and Yu. Well, that concludes our semi-finals day here from the Hamdan Sports Complex. What a day it's been. We've had some great badminton. We really have been treated to the best of the best. Well, of course, it's a finals tomorrow. All five finals do join us then. But in the meantime, from all of us here, especially from Morton Frost and myself, Jewel Clark, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.